Welcome to Art Swarm, Art Swarm number four with the theme of holidays. Art Swarm is an audio and video program where we showcase new art to the world. Poems, soundscapes, anything really. The thing about Art Swarm is it's made by things that people have sent in to us. Everything's new, everything is a world premiere, everything's rather experimental and interesting. We're going to begin our holiday themed program with a poem by poet Laura Potts, uh, a poem called Ancestors, which uh, a wonderfully evocative poem with lots of memories of a century ago. Enjoy. Ancestors. From the sour breath of quarry towns we came, to our scars the firelight a mother in another land our broken cord stretched far on the moors, the flint of our tongue, the tinder, the coal, hung in their black sacks our lungs sang to the dead dark night of the child, too young in her grave. We wore the eyes of the damned. Our biblical chant we took to the wars, Candled the lanterns to hopes of our home, Where Madame in her manner, high summer, forgot. In our hallway of night, Watched lights in distant houses dream up their happinesses, All the bells of Notre Dame, And mourned in our trench, in our filth, in our lice, For our spouses, our corpses, When our dead stank the ground. Hometown was lonely that year. Here, us, we never danced down promenades, our arms like silver chimes. Our drip was slow through time, gritted and gnarled. No child never aspired to living to three. We got a VC and still died on the slump of our knees. And in the candle of our last hour's sleep, Across the moors and the mines, Sit the ghosts of our shanties, Long crippled in time. The moon, with his holy eye of light, Still sits on his swing, Smoking his pipe. Here, at night, Tell them we saw the chasms And grey seascapes of fate, The cracks in mankind, Poverty's shadows tall on the walls and our dark graveside flowers all dead on the day when our bones got up and slowly walked away. Don't say that our stars are forgotten today. Don't say I am nothing at all. Thank you to Laura Potts for that. Your Laura Potts is 22 years old and comes from West Yorkshire and she's twice been named the Foyle Young Poet of the Year and also a BBC radio drama was premiered last Christmas by her, which is very interesting. Next, on our holidays theme, we're going to present a picture postcard of a memory by Andrew Williams. This is an evocative soundscape made from guitar sounds set to the memory of one of his holidays.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that from Andrew Williams. Uh, now, a video piece by local artist and poet Michael Chisholm, who this is called Hometown, and it's a piece that I first saw in Mash Guru in Macclesfield at one of the improv nights that I help curate with uh, Sabina Kusmail. This is a very interesting poem because it's primarily driven by the text on the screen, and there are only vague echoes of the sounds, so it takes a lot of picking up, but it adds a unique atmosphere, so it certainly crosses the boundary between video and uh, pure spoken poetry, I think. Here is Hometown. Well, next, my entry for this fortnight, this week's episode of Holidays, and it's entitled Dream of the Tau, and it was inspired by the idea of a holiday being a, a gap of nothing, a sort of desert between the city, the busy city of working life and working days. And so I quickly wrote a sort of poem, and it involves the uh, references Taoism, which is a religious and philosophical belief that has elements of stillness and peace and silence within it. Um, the poem, after starting in that strange desert and a musical inversion of quite a well-known song, can you name it? Um, it ends with gentle piano music.
I hope you enjoyed that dream of the Tao. Uh, answers on a postcard or by email if you can identify the tune that I sang the Tao to in that particular piece. Next, I'm going to present another video diary pastel type, pastel coloured uh, piece of art from Stephen Goodwin. It's a poem that's a bit reminiscent of Michael Chisholm's hometown that we saw a bit earlier, but with a very different aspect. Um, I hope you enjoy this. It's like memories of a seaside holiday. Summer. Time to decamp to the sea. Kick sand at the dullard days. Relax to gulls tap dancing on caravan roofs and screaming through paper-thin walls. Lather up in lotion before the rain comes to rinse. Have picnics ruined by bugs. Walks on the beach at sunset and sea air cleansing lungs. Stomachs full with candy floss and sticks of rock. Watching the weatherman predict rain on the way. But at least today, today we have blue skies. And now we end the show with a second poem by Laura Potts. This one is a tribute to uh, Dylan Thomas's wife and it's entitled From Kathleen. It's a wonderfully romantic and evocative an effectively spoken work. From Kathleen. After you, my lighthouse hope, who made a bonfire of my eyes, the city streets grew old. And I, like a lamp candle pale in the cold, cold night, who saw your spotlight glow and fail here in the crag-black winter of Wales. I, who brought to your door the Irish moors and London's charm and the wheeling, laughing shorebirds of Lan, and made town bars our drama stage and aged a decade when you played away with local girls and corner whores. I, whose garden full of fruit, folding infants in our bed, bled hot tears at 2am when morning didn't bring you home again. I, with the red slits of my eyes, who saw in evening's cups of light your hunchbacked, bent-bowed head, a celestial star, when your words rolled far across miles, and your eyes in the window light took the crack from my smile like a movie played in a firefly night. And I, once the lover whose name you carved into stone, find the winter's old cold teeth now blunt in those first frost flakes of November, the annual month I remember your bones still gold in that American bed. Dead, ten years, and still I doubt when within those great Welsh wells and walls they ring your passing bell, Dylan, did I ever really know you at all? And that's it for episode four, our holidays theme of Arts Warm. Yes, there's been no vampire arts news this week. If you've got any arts news that you'd like Vlad to read out, then do send it to me at artswarm at 
I'm Mark Sheeky and everything I play, as you may have seen, is created and sent in by you. So if you'd like to send something, find the Art Swarm page on my website on MarkSheeky.com and that will list our terms and conditions, which are basically that it has to be new, it has to be copyright free, it has to be made by you. And then you can send me something and I would happily play it. Our next theme in two weeks time is crime and punishment which is a wonderful theme it slightly relates perhaps to police which is a theme i had on the radio version of this show arts lab uh, a few months ago so it's going to be interesting to see some crime and punishment related pieces from you if you've got any ideas then send them and i'll put them into the next show i'll see you next time